Hey y'all, it's Pastor Rob Dans from Antioch, Wichita. Just coming to share a word with you tonight, just on something that God laid on my heart through this season. Um, I've been kind of struggling with, uh, especially when it comes to the things of race and the calamity of the world and statue toppling and and the church, quite honestly, uh, rising in good ways, as she should, and fight for the things that are not of the justice and the kingdom justice of God, and also seeing the church rally behind things that don't really honor Jesus and hearing a lot of noise um, so many people from Facebook to the news, everybody's got a platform and there's so many voices, uh, spurting out. That's the best way I can put it, uh, all over the place. And I've been frustrated because, um, uh, in the midst of this, you know, uh, seeing people battle, seeing people hurt, seeing people talk way more than they should be, honestly, talking, um, people not talking out of the context of love and um, just getting so bogged down by it all. I've just been frustrated and, and especially in an urban church setting like we are and being a white pastor in an urban church setting, I felt like I've been neutered in some ways and, and wanted to, uh, you know, speak into things. And uh, I just been super cautious because I know one thing, and I believe that's uh, this is the enigma of this whole situation, uh, is that this is like whenever we react out of emotion, uh, pure emotion first and not seeking the Lord, we will cause destruction. The church will cause destruction. Followers of Jesus, the world definitely will cause destruction when it acts out of pure emotion. And we know that as believers with the mind of Christ, we don't get to act out of pure emotion. Emotion's not bad, and that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when we react from emotion and not let our emotions uh, bring us to the feet of Jesus for his word, for his voice, for his way, uh, we're just been compounded by that thought lately. You might have a passion for something that's God's heart, but if you don't do it his way, then it, it becomes mute. Uh, it really it neuters it, honestly, and it doesn't bring God the glory and, um, and honor. And so I've been frustrated with all that, not knowing how to communicate a lot. And, I, and I've been praying, like, God, give me a word. And the other day I was on a Zoom call, some other pastors, uh, and one in particular fellow that I look up to a lot, love him. Uh, you know, he, he's a, a pastor of one of our bigger churches, and he, he was just sharing his lament um, with, his, with his church. He had people that were in riots. He had police in his, uh, in his uh, church. He had people, uh, you know, just dogging him for not saying enough and dogging him for not sticking up for police and dog. and so it's just this whole chasm and, and I know he was really heartbroken by that and when we were praying for him I felt like God gave me a word and as the words came out of my mouth to share with him uh, it was I just felt like the Lord was saying that over me and I have had this compulsion in me to share that with many of you who uh, who want to hear and so here's here's what I feel like God is saying um, the Lord's I just what I heard clear as day to me in my heart what I feel like was the Lord was saying um, I'm not looking for more voices I'm looking for prophets I am not looking for more voices in this season of coronavirus and brokenness in our country, racial inequality and, and riots and all that stuff. He's, I'm not looking for more voices. I'm looking for prophets. And that just sinks so deep into my heart because everybody's got a platform. Everybody's got something to say. Everybody has an opinion about how everybody should be being. I think there's a lot of confused people out there that mean well, that don't know what to do because they're hearing it in 25 different directions. There's so many voices. I just want to put my hands over my ears and, and I've just seen the church rise up again in good ways and then in poor ways and yoking itself to things that don't honor Jesus. And so as I reflected on that statement, I just started thinking, everybody's got a voice, everybody has something to say, but how many of us are actually stopping and listening for the Word of God? When I say prophet, I, I'm not talking about doomsday prophecy. We all have the ability to hear from the Lord, hear what His saying is, and I feel like God is saying, I'm looking for people who will listen, hear what I'm saying, and that who will speak into these situations my way with my heart, um, with my passion, and um, and will follow me through that. And as I thought about that, I, one thing I found was, oh, <laughs> I really need to stop and listen for what the Lord is saying. I, I want to, I, I, my stuff in the middle of this is broken, and it's not going to help anybody. My passion, my zeal, my anger, my 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 remorse, all of that stuff. What's going to help the situation, and will only 
help the situation is what God's heart is and God's way. It's it's both. It's it's the deuce. And so, um, man, I, I just think a uh, it's deeply needed, and b it will rarely be popular rarely be popular. We know that the, with the world as it rages doesn't want to have anything to hear with what the Lord says, but I think in the church, people need to sit down before the Lord and, 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 and seek his face and hear his voice and speak real truth. I have been so honoredly blessed by just a handful of men and women in this season who will actually speak the whole truth, God's heart for things, God's way and his roadmaps to be able to break into these situations to bring healing for our country. And so I hope that blesses you. Um, I just know that Second Peter uh, 121, for no prophecy was ever produced by the will of man, right? And so, but men spoke from God as though they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. And now that we are men and women that are full of the Holy Spirit. Uh, we we don't want to be full of the will of man. We want to be full of the will of God. We want to be prophetic in hearing and prophetic in our actions and obedient when he speaks. And so I pray that blessing over to you now. I hope that helps any of you. Um, but man, God is not looking for more voices. He is absolutely looking for prophets into this season. Bless you.